Can we win this war? It's a good question. It's a good question, but let's break it down a little bit. Zira did a tremendously good job of preparing the ground for the upheaval of these leaders. What we failed to do is recognize that when they called, we're talking about an Arab Spring, maybe some of those people involved at the beginning really wanted true democracy, really wanted a true open society, maybe. But we didn't come to their aid. We didn't do anything. And they were quickly swept aside. So let's define the terms of the question. Can we win this war? Well, the question is whether what can means. Does it mean can, may? Do we want to win this war? Do we plan to win this war? Is it a war? Not necessarily. Who's we? Is the we United States, the US Congress, the United States White House, NATO, the United Nations? the quartet that was put together in order to bring Israel to its knees, the global coalition that's being put together, that was put together to get Iraq out of Kuwait, or again, is being put together today. What does win mean? What does a win look like in the modern day? Are we in it to win? And finally, is this really a war? What do they say? This guy is thankfully out of office, and a moderate has replaced him. This is a war against the Saturday people first, and the Sunday people next. The little Satan, Israel and the Jews, the big Satan, the part of the world that Islam has not yet conquered, the United States, Canada, Mexico, South America, and so on. But jihad comes in several stages. Remember Al Jazeera. Look at what happens on the college campuses. Look at what happens in the stock market. Look at what happens with the oil. Jihad comes in several stages. By the pen, college, Al Jazeera, newspapers, CNN. By finances, investment in the stock market. Endowing college chairs in all kinds of different places of the country. And finally, when you've weakened that country's mind, and that country's pocket, it's easy to beat them with the sword, but that only comes later. President Kennedy defined, the last president to really define victory, let every nation know whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Do we live up to that ideal today? It's a question. It's a big question. So like we did at, this, at the start, I beseech you, when you see a soldier, when you see somebody that is providing us this service, police officer, border guard, soldier, firefighter, EMS worker, nurse, doctor, teacher, say thank you. Say thank you. You can imagine how far a thank you can go.